Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to create the Orton effect using only Lightroom. The Orton effect was a combination of two uh, exposures. One was a sharp exposure and the second exposure was generally taken slightly out of focus and slightly overexposed. In an upcoming video I'm going to be taking you outside and showing you how I created this photograph. Uh, there's no Photoshop involved and this is a single exposure in camera. So please consider subscribing if you'd like to see this. Well here we are in Lightroom and as I said in the introduction we're going to change uh, a woodland, autumn woodland scene uh, from this. To this soft ethereal look about it which is you know as near as you can get to the autumn effect in Lightroom without using layers um, I think it looks quite nice so we'll show you how to do this now in just a, a few simple steps I will just hit the reset and reset this back image back to uh, the original so I've made all the basic adjustments uh, in the basic panels so now just to create that uh, blurry but sharp image just going to grab a graduated filter so you can click on the graduated filter up here or you can just hit M on the keyboard and I'll just bring everything back to normal to where it, you know to where it should be where I start you can either just drag the sliders back or just double click on the word effect so for the first part of this now if we bring our cursor just off the bottom of the image hold down the shift key and just drag from there that will actually affect the whole of the image there won't be any graduation on it just let go of the shift key a little bit so I'll just straighten that up so we've got the whole effect of the filter now uh, across the whole of the image so the first process is to reduce the clarity and do that get over the clarity slider and drag that back to 100% and then once you've done that go down to the sharpness slider and reduce the sharpness of the image then by about t between t I tend to think between 25 and 50 tends to work quite well so we'll just keep dragging it back to about there and that now creates a softer and a bit more blur on the image so we'll click done now we're going to get hold of uh, a second graduated filter so we can click in the filter panel or hit M on the keyboard and do the same, hold the cursor off the bottom edge of the image, hold down the shift key and just drag from that onwards. And now with this second graduated filter we're going to just increase the exposure, maybe about a quarter to a third of a stop. We're also going to increase the contrast and I tend to think that this works sort of best somewhere between the 40 and 70 mark but you can always adjust it to your own taste. I'm now going to reduce the clarity again by 100% so that's just down to minus 100. I don't want the sharpness at this stage. I'll just bring that one back but I am going to just increase the saturation just a little bit just to bring out all the gold tones and now click done again so that's our basic uh, image we now need to bring some sharpness back to the image because as I said before it is a, a combination between parts of the image that are, are very sharp and, and other parts that are blurred so we can grab the brush tool or click K on the keyboard just reset everything back to normal now on the brush tool we need to make sure that auto mask is checked bring up the sharpness you can take this way up because you can always reduce it later you can adjust the size of your brush tool by either using the left bracket key which will make it smaller or the right bracket key which will make it bigger or you can just scroll with the wheel on the mouse 
So what I'm going to do here now is just bring some sharpness back to these tree trunks. So I'll just brush over these. Now I'm just going over them quickly and I'm sure you'll be able will take a lot more time doing this when you're doing your image but this is just to show you go to this side and just bring some sharpness back to the tree trunk on this side and bits over there just bring some sharpness back into the image just round the bottom you can even add a bit more sharpness to the footpath. Just do it however you think. And then click done. Now at this stage you might just want to just adjust the overall uh, brightness or contrast, highlights or shadows in the image. I'm just going to bring the shadows up a little bit. And there is basically our autumn effect style um, done in Lightroom so that was the image that we started with and that's where we are now so thank you very much for watching please consider subscribing hit the like button and leave a comment and uh, you might also know a much easier way and a better way to create this style if you do leave that in the comments so thank you and we'll see you on the next one